Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. Hi, I'm Joel. I'm Dad. I'm Daniel. Hi, I'm Gavin. And we're some of the Veggie Boys, and we want to thank you for stopping by. So wait till you see what has been happening in here. Now in my last video, you may remember Autumn and Daniel, they planted all of these grasses. I didn't film yesterday, so I, you didn't get the chance to see what was going on, but they planted all of the herbs, and they even planted all of these geraniums. So the girls have been working like crazy. Now, Autumn, I have to ask, are you tired of flowers yet? I'm tired of geraniums. You've only done like halfway. You shouldn't be tired of geraniums yet. No, I'm tired of them. Tell them how many geraniums you used to plant at your old job. I didn't really plant. I cut geraniums. And sometimes we, over thousands. It's a lot of work to fill up that greenhouse and those girls are doing a really good job. They're gonna be planting like that for the next two weeks. Oh, what's going on in here this morning? I'm planting vegetables. 86 degrees in the germination greenhouse, so the sweatshirt's coming off. I don't think I showed you the stuff that we seeded in the last video, so I'm gonna give you a quick look at how everything's been coming up. Something we have to keep an eye on in the germination greenhouse, because it's 86 degrees and it's sunny outside, things start to dry out fast. We have some spots drying out here. It's not bad yet, but you want to keep an eye on those spots because they can dry out really quick. When you're dealing with these tiny plants and seedlings, you have to make sure they're watered because their root systems aren't strong enough to pull the moisture out of the soil. So that's why you have to keep constant care with them. That's why we have to constantly check them and make sure they're nice and watered. That's all I do. Dad mentioned we were gonna plant vegetables. On the same date last year, we planted broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, spinach, tomatoes, lettuce. There's lots of tomatoes we planted. We planted a couple half flats of tomatoes. A lot of people like to start early tomatoes in our area. It's wise to wait where we live, but some people like to get them started. So we always do a couple trays of tomatoes just for those people. planting white Spanish onions and uh, we plant them in an open flat like this so they have more room for the roots to grow. They just break them apart and plant them and we put about 50 seeds in a, in a square and from over the years doing it I pretty much guarantee you there's about 50 to 60 seeds in a square. Some greenhouses will plant all of their stuff in these open face trays like this. Uh, we just like doing the onions and some leeks this way. Uh, because it's easier to break them apart. We don't like to do it for tomatoes or peppers because the roots get all intertwined and then you're ripping apart the root structure. But on these onions, it's a little easier to do that. The record keeping everything we planted. In. See, it's March 9th, 2021. So, so far today, we've planted all the leeks and the onions. So last year we planted the onions on February 18th, so we're actually almost a month behind. If we had started the greenhouses this year in February, it would have cost a lot of money to keep everything heated. So we held off until it warmed up a little bit. We're moving on to our plug trays. We're gonna get started with flowers first and then move on to vegetables. We've got quite a few flowers here to plant. There's a lot of stuff here, so we're gonna get started on it. So I'm going to take this other tray, put it up on top, and then I'm going to slightly push down. And then when I take it off, it leaves a nice area for the seeds to drop down into. We're starting off by planting marigolds. You can see these seeds look very different, and it makes it quite difficult to plant on this machine because they get stuck down in there. 
but hey, it's better than planting them by hand. These are really popular in our area because the deer love to eat flowers and marigolds are one of the things that deer normally don't eat. I've heard stories of them eating them. So we plant a lot of marigolds. Now when we're covering these, we want to cover them with a thin layer of dirt. We don't want to put too much on top of there because that makes it harder for the flowers to come up. Well, we just finished planting the flowers. We got about 14,000 seeds here. Uh, when I was covering these saw, I tried to leave a light cover of dirt over the top. These flowers, they're not the best at popping their heads out through that soil. So we don't want to give them too much to go through. So we try and only give them about a quarter inch of soil to go through. Oh my, don't tell me you're getting hay again today. It's almost like I have to do this every week or something. I have a special treat for you guys. We're gonna be starting our early vegetable plants. Now, we sell these in the farm market, so we will have them out earlier for the customers to come. They can take them home and plant them. So I'm gonna show you guys our early varieties that we use for sales. The main event, tomatoes. All right, Dad, tell us, what are we getting started with? Broccoli. The variety we're going to be starting with today is a variety called Green Magic. Now this is really, really early for our area to be starting like broccoli and stuff like this. So we're only doing one variety and we're just doing one 512 seeded tray. And that simple, we got a whole flat of broccoli planted. Now we're moving on to cabbage. We've got a lot of varieties of cabbage. So we have to decide which cabbage variety we want to use for the early planting. So the cabbage variety we're planting is called Blue Vantage. It's a good early cabbage. You need a cabbage that's going to head in the heat in the summer. Because what you plant now is not going to make head until June, July. Now we're moving on to cauliflower. We need a variety that, like the cabbage, is gonna be able to head in the heat. So we're using a variety called Clarify. The seeds that we're planting, so you saw the cabbage seed and the broccoli seed was blue. And this stuff was kind of like a reddish maroon color. Uh, they're treated with a fungicide because if you let these seeds sit around for a while, they'll get moldy. So the fungicide prevents that from happening. Now we're moving on to a kohlrabi variety called Winter. If you notice, there's only seeds on half of the tray. We have a black line that runs down the middle. We're doing half a tray of kale and half a tray of Brussels sprouts. The kale was called winter boar, and this variety of Brussels sprouts is called jade cross. Dad's got a tray of spinach on the cedar. The variety we're planting is Ashley. Dad just dumped some curly parsley onto the cedar. Variety is forest green. This is flat parsley, Italian parsley. Variety is dark green Italian. This is uh, basil, it's called Eleonora. My job starts to get much more difficult as we move along. My dad can go pretty fast with that cedar, so I have to continue filling trays constantly. So is, uh, and I have to continue yeah, covering the seeds that have been planted. Water. So it can get quite confusing sometimes and I have to pay attention because they definitely don't want me to cover seeded plants twice. That wouldn't be good. Yoink. So, dad ordered pelleted. No, dad did not dad, order pelleted seed. Dad ended dad up- Dad was shipped pelleted seed. Dad ended up with pelleted lettuce seed, which does not work on our cedar. Pelleted just means that they put a coating around it to make it easier to plant. So if you're planting by hand, Pellets is actually a lot nicer because then you can grab the, the seeds. But if you're planting with a cedar like we are, the pellets is a real pain because it makes the seeds too heavy for the suction to work. So now we have a bunch of lettuce that we have to plant by hand. So here's what it looks like if it's not pelleted. And then if it is pelleted, what'd you do with that seed? So these are the same exact seeds, just these ones are pelleted. See how they're so much bigger? Makes them a lot heavier too. 
Butter crunch, now I'm planting red leaf lettuce. I'm doing romaine next. This is Simpson leaf lettuce. It's, okay, light green leaf lettuce. We just finished up with the last of the lettuce for our early, early planting. Now we're moving on to some tomatoes. Now, for the other stuff that we've been planting, it hasn't been too, too early for most of it. Like cabbage and broccoli, they can handle a little colder. Same with the lettuce. Now these tomatoes, we're only doing half trays because this is really, really early. Some of these we're gonna put into six inch pots, bigger pots, so that we can sell the plants like already like a foot tall because some people wanna get a head start on their gardens. They don't wanna start with the small plants, they wanna start with bigger plants. Uh, big boy tomatoes. Now we're on to early girl. What next? This is better boy tomatoes. Hey, what variety of tomatoes is your favorite? I like Red Goose, uh, but Primo Red was very nice last year, but we only had it one year, so I'd like to plant it another year and see, see how it does. Out of all the varieties we've ever raised, Biltmore is my favorite. I, they just are such nice tomatoes. And then Primo Red and Red Deuce are right behind. You should probably specify that those are all like for farmers, like for field tomatoes. They're not the best garden varieties. So those, those varieties are all determinate, which means they make all their tomatoes within a span of like two weeks. So if you're like us, and then in a couple weeks you have to pick a thousand baskets of tomatoes, so those are the ones you want to use. But if you're in the garden, using your indeterminate types, like your big boys, your better boys, your early girls, all those ones that produce the same amount of tomatoes, just it takes them all season to do it, they're spaced out more, might be better for a garden. Yeah, but those older varieties get a lot more disease, Matthew. <laughs> Only if you're planting 10,000 of them within a small area. Whoa, 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 can't we agree that tomatoes are just tasty? Come on. You never even asked my favorite variety of tomatoes. Matt, what's your favorite variety of tomatoes? Brandywine. Whoa, now if we're talking about heirloom tomatoes, then the pineapple ones are my favorite. Pineapple, oh my goodness. They are so big and yellow and have such a good flavor. Matthew, what's the hardest part about being a veggie boy? Uh, my wife's grandmother liking my dad more than me. Oh, you heard it, Grandma Terry. He saw the comment. Thank you, Grandma Terry. Plant patio tomatoes. And there we go. We just finished up our early sales plantings. Now we're going to be planting more for sales here very shortly. And we're even going to start planting some stuff for us. Very shortly, we're going to be doing cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, things like that. Because we need to start getting prepared to get that stuff in the ground. Now, although we won't be planting for a little while, we still need to start thinking about these things. So it's really nice to finally start doing some sales so we can get ourselves prepared for when we start doing our seeds. Because we don't just do a couple half trays of some varieties. We plant a lot of cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, tomatoes, peppers. I'm just getting so excited. Me too, woo. So you wanna water everything good and then you gotta make sure you have no dry spots. And the edges dry out quicker, so you always water and then let it soak in and then do the edges again. Well, we've been working up in the germination greenhouse, Aunt Rhonda has been getting some geranium hanging baskets ready and even some fuchsia. And when we saw Bonnie and Autumn earlier, they were right here. You guys are moving fast. How's it going down here? Very good. How's everything going over here? It's going good, no thanks to you, Mr. Late Pants. I was planting in the greenhouse, I'm coming to help. Well, you guys were almost done by the time I got here. I had help today. You're back to work, Gavin. It's so nice to see you. It's nice to see you too, Andy. So while everybody was working in the greenhouse, we were working in the germination greenhouse, and Joel and Gavin were taking care of horses and unloading hay. This is what Daniel's been up to. He's been cleaning the pen out down here. He's been cleaning the manure and spreading it. He's already got one side of this pen completely cleaned out, and now he's just got the short side. Did you see there was customers pulling in the farm market's parking lot all day? We're not open on the sign what set. day is today tuesday we're not open on tuesdays all righty let's see what we're having for dinner it's date night so this is where we're gonna end the video guys i want to thank everyone for watching and i hope to see you next time bye 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 you think all this work's making me thinner no oh.